So I've got a TAC DW224E here. It's a slimline DVD-ROM CDRW combo drive. I pulled this out of my Toshiba 2415, which is kind of breaking down, so I'm beginning to part stuff out of it. And I've got my IBM Net Vista desktop here, which is a slimline that's got one of these little standard, I think, 24x slimline CD-ROMs in it. And I'm thinking of sticking this in there and giving it an upgrade to have both a CDRW rewritable drive but also have DVD playback and read capabilities. So it might be a nice upgrade. It uses the same kind of connection interface in there. I'll just have to see what entails to installing it, but from what I've seen on this NetVista before, should be a pretty straightforward installation. So let me reposition the camera. So I always like what IBM does with these. Just two buttons, you push in, and it just lifts the whole thing forward. Nice and easy to get access to the internal components. Now what we need to get to is the disk over here. Let me come in a little bit. So what I need to do is take out the little riser adapter. Pull this out from the back here. For this little slim light thing, it's just a little expansion card for giving you some slots along with an Ethernet port. You can see right there. Plus it acts as a hold down. Alright. Got some cables here. Let me move this connection out of the way. And we have our little holder. This is what they use to hold their custom board in. Looks like that. And we just unplug like that. It's a little Foxconn setup. But it's been set up with our IDE and power connection. Let me see how this comes off. Does it flip up? Okay, the power supply is right beneath there. So I need to figure out how this drive is going to unmount. So it did take a little doing, but eventually it was figured out there's a little screw that goes right here in the front just above the RFID sensor there, which holds this plate. There's your little screw mount right there. So the whole tray is kind of press fit into here. To hold what was on there and it's a TXCD224E so again yes this is the 24X CD-ROM variant of the same exact drive that we got there just that this is 24X CD-ROM and then of course this is our DW224E from TX which is a DVD-ROM CDRW so we're going to now insert it in this case get it put together what I do with that one tab and when you had to do this, you see the little points on the side here? You kind of have to push this this way and then pry those a little bit to release them and then you can pull the drive out. So I want to try putting this little spring-loaded piece back in here. Goes this way. It's getting that locked in there. That's a spring to help push it. So I was locked in there. It's supposed to be basically the release. There. Now it's clipped in. So the way this goes is this should kind of just go in there like so. And you see where that little pin meshes with that? We just want to push that kind of into the holes there. Snaps in place. And there we go, we got it installed. So now it's just a matter, I believe, that we should slide this in. Like that. Let's put the screw in place. Again, once you figure things out, you realize that IBM in these days did make it relatively easy to swap out parts. Again, this is actually a business kind of machine, but Should make it 
empty. And basically it's just a matter of reconnecting the cables. That's how easy it is to change the strut. Trying to get this plate out on the top before actually wasn't necessary. Okay, I'll put this cable back for the RFID. Like that, so the case cover can go on. Shift the camera back this way. And put this little cable there, which again, we didn't have to move either. Let's get this piece plugged in. Ooh, it's got that plugged in. A little holder goes like this. And that's, that locks it in. And now we just need to put back our riser adapter. to a port here. Get this lined up. is done. Pull this back. We'll put the case on and let's test it out. Put the case back on. And there's our drive right there. So let's hook up the computer and test this out. Put it at the computer and it realizes that yes there were some changes on there including what we did with the asset ID antenna which is that little RFID thing on the front. You can check that the drive does open. So we're going to go back and continue booting. Whether that reconfigure the system and continue. a uh, interesting little problem. There is no optical drive detected. Now that's a little bit of an issue. I think we need to open this case back up and see why the drive has power because I can open and close it but it's not showing up an interesting problem. Well, it did seem like I was going to do an upgrade video for this, but turns out that's not the case. I've had to put the original 224E CD drive back in the computer, and that works just fine here. So unfortunately, even though this drive powers up and its buttons and stuff works on it, it doesn't seem to be able to communicate with the IDE controller on the computer and I don't know why. Could be something wrong with the connector on there or it could be with the internal circuitry on this DVD-ROM CDRW combo drive. So unfortunately this is not usable. And it's also entirely possible that it's just not compatible with the computer but I think it's actually this drive here is the problem. So, and considering the computer it came from was breaking down, this drive probably broke down with it too, so. Unfortunately, no upgrades for this IBM NetVista after all.